this V-Baddy with another V-Plays, and I figured since we already did the Tier 5 German Premium, the ME210, we might as well hop in the BF110E. In fact, let's do the entire week is going to be Tier 5 Heavies. I figured that uh, doing a series like that should be, you know, good way to hop back into it. Gives me no excuse as to not be able to pick an aircraft. Uh, and something that came up in the comments of the ME210 video, I'd love to hear your guys' take on it, is the opinion that uh, you can't seal club at tier 5. Uh, the reason people say that is, you know, you can't really seal club at a tier that's halfway through the tier brackets because at that point everybody understands the games and most of your seal clubbing is happening like tier 4 and below in that kind of junior category if you would. But with that said, I think that there's probably an equal balance of new players and older players at tier 5. So with airplanes like the SE-100 and it being kind of labeled as a seal clubbing platform, how do you guys feel about that? Do you think that that's true? Like you can't seal club at this tier? Or is that not necessarily the case? And maybe your mind will change when you see me hop into the uh sc100 later on but we'll see how this goes there is a heavy inbound on my position i feel it i can feel it all right we got two bombs here let's drop these potatoes there's the heavy i i feel you you're here Really not getting much of a chance here. Oh, come on. Got his engine. Pitch up with the F button there. We've limited his effectiveness of those guns. Seem to be out climbing him. Oh, there's a multi-roll inbound. Oh, we just got burned up there. Oh, come on, guys. There we go. We picked up the other zone. Maybe I can help this guy out. Earn back some cool points here. Oh man, we are taking flak like a like you read about. Okay. Boomerang here. Got him in a quick and easy pass there. Oh, we're taking a lot of flak. Oh, nice job, guys. Nice job. We're still taking some flak. Two hit points. Man. All right, let's aim for that zone. I'm going to start pulling away a little bit. Run perpendicular to that guy. We need to get some of that passive regen going. Ha 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 ha. Oh, that was just the... Uh, no, that was the BF-110 that was bugging us earlier. Bomb will be back in about 100 seconds. Like I said, the bombs aren't spectacular in this aircraft but we definitely delay the enemy a little bit let's see if we can help our bomber out the bomber seems to be getting chased by a bunch of the defense aircraft go ahead and hit f3 when you're in the zone in order to affirm that we want to attack this sector there's the flak piling up on me there a couple of good hits can we get him in that? Yeah! There we go. There's those extra two machine guns doing a little bit more work than what we saw with the 210 yesterday. 210 was a good interceptor, but wasn't necessarily there with the oomph from the firepower. And two machine guns do mean a little bit more at this tier, I think. Uh, is he coming right at me? Yeah, Phantom's coming right at me. He's trying to get some vengeance from earlier. But if we can keep him behind us, I got faith that our bomber's gonna be able to do his job over here. Yeah, you wanna chase me? It's not gonna net you anything real good quite yet. Really just drawing him away from the fight right now, because we're equally matched. I'm not specialized. I don't have anything really going for me on this aircraft. Ooh boy. Maybe we can damage him here. 
Oh, I think that was a ram. Couldn't tell with the cloud cover there, but come on, guys. Anything. Yeah, we picked up the other command center. Nice. And our bombs are heading towards their garrison. And since we locked up this one in the north, most likely as soon as they capture the one down south, we'll be able to inject ourselves. Bombs are just about back up. Let's go for the mid. I have a feeling we'll be able to pick this up relatively quickly. Oh, there's so much going on over at the command center, though. Chasing our bombers. Oof. We just killed the one. Okay. Baron on this guy. Oh no, he is. There's Phantom. Vengeance. Oh, come on now, Phantom. Oh! Get them guns on. Not in the zone, though. He snuck out of it. Good move on his part. Yeah, they just picked that one up. We're heading in the right direction. There is the... P40, we don't want to let him get the jump on us. Oh. We did not get the damage numbers we were hoping to get there. Oh, but we got an ally with us. Nice. Um, it's kind of my job to take out bombers, and there's two right here. So let's do it. Oh no, one's, one's on us. We're really only hitting with the 20s. There's one down. It's another AR-2. Oh, boy. Oh, no. It's Squall, too. All right. Let's burn away. Lucky opportunity there. Nice. Oh, nice, guys. We just got air supremacy? Okay. I think our boy is on him. Oh, no. He turned on us. Oh, oh boy. Rubbing bellies. No. He just got his engine. Looks like he used his repair on it, though. Is he on me? No, he's not. He's on somebody else, I think. All right. We got this. Locked it up. Throw up the GG. Ooh. That was a bit of a rough fight. Not a stellar score, but definitely uh, working the zones there. Showcase the extra damage that comes from just the two extra machine guns. It's not a ton, but at this tier, like an extra uh, 60 damage per second, it adds up. You really got to close the distance, though, if you want those extra two machine guns to really be doing any, any work at all. All four of them, actually. Uh, the tail gunner's a little bit less than what we would have had on the 210 as well, but it was enough to be able to get... A decent crit there early on. And again, like I said, we really don't have this thing pumped up too much. So there isn't a ton going on with this aircraft just yet. Beautiful looking airframe. Very classic design of the BF-110 series. Very sleek and smooth design, even for the era. So I'm very impressed with the look of it. And what were we able to achieve? We managed to kill eight aircraft. One of them was a bomber, two heavies, a five air defense aircraft which i think we took out in nearly a single run pass so we're really making good effect with the boom and zoom run and it looks like our bombs actually did meet the they did uh, take out that target that medium ground target 
and we were able to get 270 capture points and get get two sectors in a tier five match with only three zones so yeah we we did what we needed to do but it wasn't just us guys let's be honest here our enemy on the other side over there uh Fan phantom phantom uh he definitely was giving us a run for our money and we had to put him into a situation where we were driving him away from the fight which was only enabling our team to continue to capture that command center. Sometimes running away from the enemy can benefit your team if you're able to drag somebody out of the fight. So we essentially neutralized a heavy over the zone, which allowed our bombers to kind of run around with impunity. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm marching to the zone.